Nanotechnology is concerned with being able to manipulate matter at the atomic and molecular level. And that means working on the nano scale. And to see matter at this scale, we need to use really powerful microscopes, which focus down to tiny areas on even tinier specimen dishes. To give you an idea, to set it in context, if we uh, look at a pin, a pin's about um, one millimetre across the head, uh, a million nanometres. Another example, a human hair is 60,000 nanometres across. When we're working at this nano scale, we're generally referring to structures which are between one to 100 nanometers in scale. And when we get down to this atomic level, uh, we start to see very interesting new materials emerge with often quite surprising properties. As an example, if we take uh, the everyday pencil, the graphite uh, that runs through the center of the pencil, that's carbon, if we reduce that graphite down to carbon atoms, we're then able to build it back up to form carbon nanotubes. And these are minuscule cylinders of carbon, which are very light, flexible and very strong. And they also have very interesting electrical and heat conductive properties. And because of this bundle of properties, they've attracted a lot of interest with researchers who've designed everything from flat panel displays through to electrical surge protectors and they're also beginning to be used um, to design devices which can treat and detect a disease in the body. As another example, um, if we take gold, gold on the nano scale doesn't look gold at all. It's either red or blue or green depending on the size and the shape of the particles. And gold nanoparticles have also found an, a range of applications which include improving the speed of computers. They've been added to paint to produce really intense color and make them more durable. And they're also beginning to be used in the fight to treat cancer. I'd say on the whole, even though nanotechnology is a fairly new area, it has incredible potential and is a really exciting area to be involved in. <laughs>